Okay, this video is to help students calculate the age of the universe based on the value of Hubble's constant. You've now graphed the change in recessional velocity of distant galaxies V in kilometers per second uh, per unit distance of megaparsecs. That graph displays a linear trend, which shows basically Hubble's law that uh, the greater the distance, the greater the recessional velocity for all galaxies in all directions. And the slope of that graph, which represents the change in the galaxy's recessional velocity per unit distance, is known as Hubble's constant. Um, the value is close to 70 to 71 kilometers per second per megaparsec. And when you make your graph, you will use data that you've collected and you will probably get a different number. But once you get that number for the slope, the argument is that the age of the universe um, can be thought of as the amount of time the universe has had to expand if it's been expanding at the same rate. And since time is a ratio of the change in distance to change in velocity, that is the reciprocal, the slope, one over Hubble's constant. So since the slope of this line represents change in velocity over distance, we're gonna take its reciprocal. In this case, that would be one megaparsec divided by 71 kilometers per second. And if we convert the units, um, we can get the time in units of years. So the trick will be to convert those units. Here are the conversions. Um, every one megaparsec equals this many kilometers. And there are so many seconds in a year. And so first thing before we begin calculating is to draw that conversion. 3.086 times 10 to the 19th kilometers in the numerator. That'll be true for everybody. But your denominator, you have to multiply your slope uh, by 3.156 times 10 to the 7th. So if we do that, we take 71 times 3.156 times 10 to the seventh. I get 2.24 times 10 to the 10th, and that would be a unit of kilometers per year. And now the age of the universe, the amount of time the universe has had to expand at this rate, uh, when you divide a kilometer by a kilometer per year, you'll be left with years. So we have 3.086 times 10 to the 19th divided by 2.24 times 10 to the 10th. And you will get a number. This is about 1.3777E. 10, in other words, 13.78, if I round it, times 10 to the ninth years. And if you round that down to three digits, that's about 13.8 billion years old, the accepted age of the universe. Your job is to figure out how much time the universe had to expand based on your value of the slope. So while I'm using the number for 71, you will substitute your number using the same conversions and then represent your final solution in units of billions of years or 10 to the ninth years.